Welcome to my channel. I'm Sean and I will be reading you a story. Today we have a story called The Bank Robber. So let's begin. Just when I was to make my move, police tackled me and dragged me away. After an hour drive, they carried me inside the police station and locked me in a dark room with little light that pierced the bag on my head. They let me sit there for a couple of hours. Probably they wanted to break me, let me contemplate on what I wanted to do, sizzle in my own mind. Still, I was decided not to tell them what was my plan. I heard the door screeching and step that came close to the table. In one move, the bag fell off and a strong light blinded me. It took me minutes to adapt and see a camera, a red light blinking and two shadows walking around me. I knew what is going on the second I saw a man rolling up his sleeves and a smoke of a cigarette. We were on to you for quite some time. The raspy voice of a man came over my shoulder while the other guy looked at the file. Did you seriously thought we wouldn't notice you lingering at the door, sizing up the place? You can kiss your sore ass goodbye. The man circled around my chair, blew smoke and, and stared at the back of my head. It's not what you think, I responded. When the other guy mounted his leg on a chair and leaned over his knee to take a better look at me. Well, gee, you must be really dumb to even think of attacking the World Bank. So, what was your plan? To run in there, scare some people, rob the bank and run away? We have everything about you in the files! The guy yelled and started reading. You are a delivery boy. You started working for the paper company five months ago. You have a dog and a cat. You moved here two years ago from Mithria. You live in a small apartment with a shower in your kitchen. If you ask me, this is a clear reason of why you wanted to rob a bank. You really must be hating your life, do you? Admit it. You wanted to rob a bank. The man pointed his arm at me and slammed papers on the desk. No, 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 no. I never went there to rob a bank. You wouldn't understand. I made a puppy face, but officers frowned and walked around like vultures. I was there to do something else. I was ashamed to speak. I bowed my head aside when the first officer crossed his hands, suspiciously watching me. We also have cameras from the bank window with a clerk telling us you were acting awfully strange lately. She raised our attention, so don't try to wiggle out of this one, mister. We're on to you. The man spoke somewhat threatening. You said that already. I wasn't there to rob a bank. I kept repeating to myself. But they didn't have ears for my apologetic words. Alright, cut the crap. Tell us why were you there? The smoker said, joining his partner on the other side of the table. Well, the moment I started doing regular deliveries for the World Bank, that clerk you've mentioned? She was really lovely. Always smiling, always nice to me, and did you saw how hot she is? Man, she's so smart and has a great sense of humor. I mean, she is everything. Today I was to ask her out, but I haven't had the courage to do it. That's why I acted so suspiciously. I just couldn't make a full sentence, so I kept mumbling when around her. Again, I bowed, where a pause gave them time to think of what I just said. Where soon after, they both cracked in laughter. After a few more minutes, they showed me the way out, where officers in the station were whistling, throwing some catchphrases, and just laughing at me. Feeling ashamed, I walked down the stairs and went home. Tomorrow, 
I will be searching for a new job. The end. Thank you kindly for watching this story. If you have anything to suggest, please do in the comments. Take care now.